Hello friends, in this problem we have been given value of one expression and then you have to find value of another expression. So you have been given that is x square minus x minus 1 is equals to 0. Then you have to find what is the value of x raised to the power 16 minus 1 and this divided by x raised to the power 8 plus 2 x raised to the power 7. So now you see in the numerator power is too heavy this is x raised to the power 16. So somehow we have to break down these powers we have to make it small and we can use the formula here that is a square minus b square this is equals to a plus b times a minus b. So let us try to see how we can simplify this term first. So the first is x raised to the power 16 minus 1 and this is x raised to the power 8 plus 2x raised to the power 7. 1 can also be written as 1 square. So what you have in the numerator you have e square kind of thing. So you can make like this x raised to the power 8 and whole square of this is x raised to the power 16. Now you have a square minus b square. And let us take x raised to the power 7 common. So you will have x plus 2 in the denominator. Now this is a square minus b square. So you can write a plus b. So this is 1 into a minus b. And in the denominator, we will have same thing. Now see, you can further use the formula a square minus b square with this term. Basically, this can be written as x raised to the power 8 plus 1. And this is what? This is nothing but x raised to the power 4 whole square minus 1 square. So I can further break down. So this becomes x raised to the power 8 plus 1 and this is again a plus b into a minus b. So x4 plus 1 <laughs> into x raised to the power 4 minus 1. And denominator will remain as it is. Now see once again you have a square minus b square. So you can further simplify so this becomes x raised to the power 8 plus 1 times x raised to the power 4 plus 1 and this will be x square plus 1 into x square minus 1 and this divided by x raised to the power 7 times x plus 2. So now I have this expression and I can use this condition. The condition is given that is this condition. So I will use this condition to further simplify the numerator. So each term x square x square x raised to the power 4 and x raised to the power 8. We will try to convert all the terms in terms of x. So let us first consider this expression. The condition is x square minus x minus 1 is equals to 0. So from here I can say x square is what? x square is simply x plus 1. So the, this term is x square minus 1. So x square minus 1 is what? x plus 1 minus 1. So this is simply x. The second term that is x square plus 1. So this will be x square is simply x plus 1 plus 1 so this is x plus 2. Now next term is x raised to the power 4 but I don't have x raised to the power 4. So what I can do is I can square this equation both side. So let us square. So if you square both side this becomes x raised to the power 4 and this side you will have x square plus 1 plus 2x. 
but now my target is to convert everything into terms of x so x square i know x square is nothing but x plus 1 so let us plug here so x plus 1 plus 1 plus 2x so this is what 3x plus 2 so this value is 3x plus 2 so x raised to the power 4 i know so x raised to the power 4 plus 1 will be 3x plus 2 plus 1 so this is equals to 3x plus 3 this means 3 times x plus 1 now next you have x raised to the power 8 so this you can get by a squaring so if you square x raised to the power 4 you will get x raised to the power 8 and this side you have 3x plus 2 so let us square so if you square this side you will have x raised to the power 8 and this side will have 9x square plus 4 plus 3 into 2 into 2 that is 12x. Now x square is what? x plus 1. So this is 9 times x plus 1 plus 4 plus 12x. So this is equals to 9x plus 9 plus 4 plus 12x. So this is how much? 12 and 9 21x and 9 plus 4 13 so now i know the value of x raised to the power 8 but i need x raised to the power 8 plus 1 so this will be 21x plus 13 plus 1 that is 21x plus 14 i can take 7 common so this becomes 3x plus 2 now i know each term in the numerator so basically if i multiply all this term that will be the numerator so now let us rewrite this expression that is the expression is this one x raised to the power 16 minus 1 so i can rewrite x raised to the power 16 minus 1 and this divided by x a square times x raised to the power 7 times x plus 2 so numerator is simply multiplication of all these terms 7 times 3x plus 2 and then you have 3 times x plus 1 and you will have x plus 2 and then you will have x and this divided by x raised to the power 7 times x plus 2. So you see x plus 2 and x plus 2 cancels out and 1x will also cancel out. So in the denominator you are left with x raised to the power 6. x raised to the power 6 and in the numerator you will have 21 times x 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. Because this x is already cancelled. So this you cancel with x raised to power 7. So this becomes x raised to the power 6. So after simplification you have 21 times 3x plus 2 and this times x plus 1. Now x raised to the power 6 can be written as x square times x raised to the power 4. But we know the value of x square and the value of x square is nothing but x plus 1. And we also know the value of x raised to the power 4 that is 3x plus 2. So this is denominator is x plus 1 times 3x plus 2. So this becomes x plus 1 times 3x plus 2. And in the numerator we have 21 times 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. So you can see x plus 1 cancels out, 3x plus 2 also cancels out. So finally, answer for this problem is two, uh, 21. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.